Never let anything disturb your peace. Nigeria's wealthiest woman, Folon Shalakija, says, In the midst of the revelation of a separation from her husband of 47 years. Hello everyone, you're so much welcome. In addition to this, it's been said online that Folon Shalakija has received up to 10,000 love messages, or should we say wooing messages, from all over the world since the announcement of a break up with husband Mudukwe Alakija was reviewed online by The Wheel. Hmm. It's been a up and down kind of thing since this news seeped online, which has not been debunked by either Mudukwe Alakija or Olonsho Alakija herself. Mama, as she's formerly called, the founder of Rose of Sharon, the once upon a time fashion designer or tailor of supreme stitches that had the likes of ex first lady, late um, Mariam Babangida, being on a list of customers where she makes wonderful different clothing, especially African kind of dressing. This woman has seen it all. She's worked in the corridor of power. She was born in wealth of the Ogbara family. And also, she has achieved even more than her uh, you know, family background has ever had. Now rising to be the wealthiest woman in Nigeria, if not in Africa. Now, since this incident happened, of course, people have been looking towards that direction to either have a publicist come out to debunk the fact that she and her husband were already separated and all of that. But not has happened, and that's about a week now. You know, it's been a tale of talking about it. Who is at fault? Who is not at fault? Who is doing this? Who is not doing this? Why did this happen? And all of that. Sometimes in life, we can't explain the why. It's not explainable. It's what it is. It's just what it has grown to be. And in such a situation, especially in this fact, it's very rare. I think this is the first time we have a 72-year-old woman, you know, um, separating from her husband who are in the limelight. And especially a woman of this timba and permit me to use the word caliber, you know. Everybody knows fan fan oil. Everybody knows this woman has when they say striking gold, she don't strike more than gold. You know, she sits atop a multi billion dollars investment and she's doing extremely well. Everybody knows the terrain of politics um would just you know what it is but you know she's not to stay into politics but she's always been into fashion designing ministry at least in the past 20 years she has done wonders with her rose of sharon and all of that and people always say that people like this they have money. when you have some money in nigeria you want power she's never been interested in power or politics you know she's the people we can call the 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 back force you know and all of that and she has had a very clean slate all this while, you know, no scandal, nothing, doing nothing, enjoying her life, doing her business. And her achievements are speaking so loud, you know. So if not, we say, anyhow, anyhow, we go here, say she be the wealthiest woman in Nigeria. We don't go here anything, say she get that kind of money. But even we don't see the investments and the company where she carry for hand, go no say, this woman no be small fry at all. So... Talking about the 10,000 proposals, people are very funny, you know, and we like to catch crews. However, of course, you know, she's now the most eligible single woman right now. Forget the fact that she's 72 years old and she's an elderly woman, a grandmother for that matter. You know, who no like wealth? Who no money? Who no like connection? Who no like to be in the arms of the wealthiest woman in the most populous African country in the world? Hmm. So all of those people, I don't think Mama gets in a time more. Because Mama is sold out to Christ. You just need to check. The middle picture here is when she was still, you know, society, woman and all of that. She enjoyed that for a long while. Where she was, you know, when they say the timber and caliber of parties and everything. Not every party. She was very, very choosy about the kind of party she attends. But, you know, when she enters, she enters and you know she enters. You know, before she now said, all of a sudden, all those kind of things just tie her. Ah, she just decided to go with Christ. Say, Father, now you I won't go with. I don't see I'm all. Waiting remain again. 
And it's a beautiful thing when, you know, you've lived life, you've also to make money, to make a name for yourself, to build a marriage, to raise your children. And at the end of the day, you can look back and say, yes, God has done me well. Let me serve him. And she's been very good with her philanthropic activities by giving people food, sponsorship and all of that. Just go to her page, Rose of Sharon or Falun Shalakija page. You'll see the whole lot of things that she's really, really done. I think her philanthropic gestures are not even talked about enough, you know. Um, but hey, her husband, or should we call him an ex now, who is said to be living in the same Ikoi neighborhood by himself because Madame chased him out to say, Make you come out house, get myself. But we've forgotten to talk about the fact that it was also said in that same article that reviewed this that Madame has um, some side problems you know, from the eyes. And we don't know how that intertwined to be this, you know. You don't question somebody for taking some decisions because you're not them and you don't walk in their shoes. You've been in your marriage for 47 years. is a joke. I beg, make on a run up. Because the truth is that is actually a lifetime zone. And these days we say some January is not meant to be offensive. Some weddings will take January or even last year, 2023. Some don't already, already wreck already. So for a woman to be this successful as an African woman and still be committed to a man for 47 years is not rice and beans. I guess when she's ready to talk about it, she will. But of course, she doesn't owe anybody an explanation. It's a personal life. I know if she doesn't do well enough, it's all well and good, you know. Um, but they have grown up children um, who are married, who have children. So they know the sensitivity of the situation and how, you know, it will affect their children. No matter how old you are, when your parents are treated after being together for this long, you see it past anybody. Anybody can come along and start castigating Mr. Alakija or Mrs. Alakija. But the truth of the matter is, the children know everything. The children see everything. It could even be them saying, you know what, for peace to even reign, so that we don't have uh, casualties on our hand or unwarranted issues. We want you alive. So even if being separate is what we solve this matter, it's okay. Yeah? So a lot of things have come into play. But for her, I think people have been quite fine because, honestly, she has done well. No human being is perfect. Nobody has the perfect template. I've been in Nageta. Nobody does. Everybody is just living life the way we understand. Six months a year is a long time to even know if labor yours is going to stand. Or even your own life. Except, you know, God says so. So all these kinds of ways they happen. We just hope that Mama will find strength at this time. And even her husband, who has always, you know, been said, alleged to be a womanizer. Say, no be me talkamu. Say, Baba like woman very well. Uh -huh. Say, Baba, they do, uh -huh. you know. You know, the fact that he's married to an African wealthiest woman doesn't mean that he won't do what some or quite a number of men, I won't say all men, do. You know, to frolic outside once a while and everything. Uh, but maybe this time around, the thing just explode to his face. We know if he do lamb again. Or even if Nababa talks, say he won't marry another woman, we my man no agree. It could be anything, but they've not said anything. And um, according to the exclusivity around them, you know, things around them don't filter very easily because, you know, it is what it is. No access like that, like that. But we wish them well. We wish them happy. You know, they've had it all. They've seen it all. So if this is what they've chosen for themselves at this time, it's okay. I just like the fact that they've been quiet about it and they are thinking to be like, mm, this one too will blow away. And that's just the way to go about when news like this happen and you're not the talky talky type. We wish them peace one more time. And for all those who now, we don't write 10,000 love advances to Mama 72 years old. I wish you now good luck. Oh. Mm. She don't try. Mm. And she's still trying. Baba too don't try. And he's still trying. He will. <laughs>